Recently, Chugga Conroy came under fire on Twitter for an alleged conversation he had with fellow streamer Lady Emily. In these conversations, he kept trying to push his foot fetish roleplay onto Lady Emily, and every single one of their conversations, no matter how mundane, would always go down this foot-focused path. Lady Emily posted a bunch of her conversation receipts on Twitter, and from the look of it, it was pretty bad. Going from talking about video games to talking about shoes, or going from talking about a convention to talking about feet, it would always go down the same route. Lady Emily came out on Twitter saying that this was completely not consensual, she did not enjoy this, she did not want it, and she eventually cut ties with Chugga Conroy because she felt very uncomfortable. Since then, Chugga Conroy has responded, and a lot more people have spoken out on Twitter about him. I want to go over everything that everyone said, including Chugga Conroy himself, to keep you guys informed on this situation. This here is the first thing I wanted to go over. I do have a video up on my channel going over the original messages between Lady Emily and Chugga Conroy if you want to check that out, but we're going to go into everything that's happened after that. The day after everything happened, Chugga Conroy took to Twitter and he said, Hey, I want to say I'm sorry to Emily and you, our community. I apologize for my mistake of overstepping the boundaries of our friendship and causing her to hurt in the process. This will not happen again. And then he said, I'd rather have time to collect my thoughts than react immediately and ask that you not contact my friends about this. I'll talk more about this in a few days. Now, this was the first response he gave on Twitter, and to be completely honest, after reading this, I was like, this is a half-assed apology, but he did say he wanted time to collect his thoughts, which is fine. So after that initial response, Chugga Conroy actually took to Facebook to write out a longer response. Let me know what you think about this response in the comments, because I have a few thoughts on it, but I'm going to read it out to you guys first. He says, hey all, I ask first of anyone who thinks it's helping to insult Emily on my behalf, Please don't send any further negativity her way. Emily should be treated with respect. I know that I've hurt Emily with my actions. These are choices I made myself, and I don't think it's relevant how I felt or what my intentions were to justify my actions. I just want to say the end result is that I really hurt you and made you feel uncomfortable. I hate that anyone made you feel that way, and I wish you the best. It took me longer than it should have to take the hint that something was wrong when you cut contact with me. I shouldn't have assumed you were just busy with traveling and that things were fine. I only began putting it together when the silence continued. I pestered you for too long and I apologize for doing so. When you communicated this to me privately a few months ago, I apologized to you directly and promised I would never repeat this kind of behavior again with anyone else. Once you shared how I made you feel, it was a huge wake-up call and I immediately sought professional help through therapy. I have worked in the months ever since then to do what you have wished for me. Learn and be better. I have done and said similar things in years past with other people. I'm still friends with some of them while I've fallen out of contact with others. If you are uncomfortable with how I behaved, this apology is for you as well. No matter my intentions, I'm sorry the impact was harmful. I will not reach out to you myself again. I would like to briefly clear up speculation about my relationship. I love my girlfriend. She was aware that this conversation took place, consented to it, and saw that it was posted. It crossed no line set between us at the start of our relationship, and we are still together. I trust her to tell me if I do something to upset her. I wish to take this space to thank her for being with me through this and apologize for the immense amount of stress my situations caused her, because that hasn't been fair to her. Separately from above, I also want to touch on online discussion about other previous comments I've made about shoes over the years. Fitness and footwear are among my hobbies and not strictly fueled by anything else. I can get passionate about my interests, and I now understand how this can come across and how it could negatively affect others. One last time, I recognize I've hurt people and needed to be held accountable for it. I recognize anyone who feels disappointed or hurt. I decided around the time of the incident that I would never do this again and learn from it, but I would understand if you didn't wish to support me any longer. Now, that's a bit of a lengthy response, but I do have a couple things I really want to touch on in what he said. Now, first of all, when he said that it took him longer than it should have to take the hint that something was wrong, she cut contact with him and he kept sending her messages for months. I mean, in those receipts, it went on for maybe three and a half months where he was just pestering her like, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Where are you? Where are you? Why aren't you responding? Hey, how's it going? How's going over and over and over and over and over. That is a very, very long time to take the hint. He said he only began putting it together when the silence continued, but the silence continued for a very long time and it took him an excessive amount of time to figure out that she did not want to talk to him. He also says here that he's done and said similar things in years past with other people and we will touch upon that later in this video. He also states that his girlfriend was okay with this, but it did cause her an immense amount of stress. So people did speculate he cheated on his girlfriend by doing this and this kind of puts that theory to rest, but he does say it puts an amount of stress on his girlfriend, which still makes it not really cool to do. Lastly, and probably the biggest thing in this apology I want to touch on, is how he says fitness and footwear are among his hobbies and not strictly feud by anything more. 
if you read these messages, you can obviously tell that it's fueled by some sort of fetish and not just a passion. The way he tries to initiate roleplay, the way he uses the like italicized text to say, I steal your shoes and run away. It's like a really cringy, like early 2000s Tumblr roleplay that it seems like he's trying to start. And it's obvious it's not just a passion. He's trying to get something out of it. And that's also probably why he only does this to women. While I've seen Emil's apology and hope he generally means to better himself, knowing his history of doing this to others, how long he's been doing it to others, and his private behavior since he did it to me, I personally do not accept the apology, nor do I believe it. This will be my response on the matter. If you want to stand by him, stand by him. But I know how he treats others, I know how I was treated, and I stand by letting people know about it so that nobody else has to deal with what I had to deal with. I'm sorry to others he has hurt, I hope you're doing better now, and I hope he's been respecting your boundaries. And Emil, sincerely, with all my heart, be better. You've been treating people like this for over a decade now. You can't keep doing it. Improve, grow, and change. And no, Emil, we didn't have a convo where we settled things privately. I had to have one of your friends talk to you because you kept bothering me and spreading personal info about me, to the point where I didn't feel safe and said friend had to tell you to leave me alone. This is pretty huge if true. Obviously, this is all alleged, this is all a tweet, so take it with a grain of salt. But he says in his apology that he will never do this to anyone again, that he talked to Lady Emily in private and they settled things months ago. And Emily herself says here, that never happened. There was no conversation. She had to talk to his friend who then had to talk him out of messaging her, which is really fucked up and it kind of aligns with the messages we saw. She said that he kept pestering her and we saw messages of him pestering her for months. Now we've hinted a lot in this video of him doing this to other people, but now we finally have people stepping forward and saying, hey, Chugga Conroy did the same thing to me. The first person to speak out is Masayanella here, who has done some collab projects with Chugga Conroy in the past. And she takes to Twitter with this eight tweet long thread saying, after the number of people who inquired about Chugga Conroy over MAGFest, I feel I need to make this clear. I have not associated with the meal for years, nor are we friends. She goes on to say, any cameo Splatoon 2 recorded long before our falling out or interaction slash mention Coliseum Twitch chat was posted and done without my consent after I had made it clear that I did not want to be associated. I'm uncomfortable with the way he has talked to slash about me in the past, which has been a huge point of distress. Combined with the way he's spoken to slash about others, particularly women, in private and public, it is concerning, and I do not want to associate with that behavior. Emil has historically been one to push boundaries, and being faced with a following as large as his is absolutely harrowing. Even establishing my own personal boundaries carries an inherent risk. For a time being, not rocking the boat felt like the safer option. I have seen the recent posts and his apology. I've privately received several from him over the years that have rung hollow with his actions. I am tired of hearing it, have no more chances to give, and am exhausted from pretending slash politely dodging topics when he is brought up. For my own comfort and safety, I will not be attending events that he will be at unless it is a public space where I'm able to avoid him, such as large-scale conventions. I've not seen him for years, and I have no intention to start again now. To those who have unknowingly asked me questions about him, either at MAGFest, in private, or in chat, or comments, I hold absolutely no ill will and I do not fall to. But moving forward, I will not be reciprocating discussion about Emil further, in any capacity. This is my personal line in the sand, made because I no longer want to quietly tolerate people speaking for me, assuming the wrong things, or incorrectly associating us as friends and collaborators. To those who have also been hurt, I empathize with you and I wish you all strength. Now, Messiah Nelly here is a perfect example of how Lady Emily was saying Chugga Conroy has done this to multiple people in the past. She says in this thread that Chugga Conroy has said things to her privately and publicly, and just about women in general, privately and publicly, that makes her incredibly uncomfortable. Those types of things are exactly what Lady Emily was talking about. She also says here that he's apologized to her multiple times, the same way he just apologized to Lady Emily on Facebook. Now, Lady Emily not accepting his apology there is probably because he apologizes multiple times to every woman he does this to. But this is not where it ends. We have Miss Fushi here, who quote retweeted Messianella and said, I support her 100%. Chugga Conroy has made me uncomfortable on many occasions. I'm not okay with him contacting me and will not be a part of any event he participates in. I was afraid about posting this publicly, but I have to share. This community has good men. He is not one of them. Now, she echoes something that was in the last thread, where when someone is approached by a content creator with a very large following, millions and millions of subscribers, it's hard to just distance yourself from that because it kind of makes you feel like, oh shit, this famous popular dude is like talking to me. 
maybe we can collab. Maybe I can be in a video. Maybe, you know, I can get into that community. That's a popular feeling among content creators. So when he starts to make you feel awkward or make you feel a little weird, you might be like, maybe I should just deal with it because he has millions of subscribers. It's kind of the same problem that like Hollywood has whenever there's some sort of scandal like this. And it makes perfect sense. Again, all of this is alleged, but so many people, so many women coming out and saying this about one dude kind of makes it seem a little more legit. But if you thought this was just a bunch of women ganging up on Chugga Conroy, we have Ant Dude here. Ant Dude is another popular YouTuber in that same gaming space, and he has come out to say, Emil and I were friends in the past, like way longer than many would believe, but many actions over the last few years have created quite a considerable wedge. From my perspective, he is not somebody I'd want to be associated with going forward. He then goes on to say, The long and short of it was, Emil occasionally tried to get closer with me only once he started sending off-putting texts to my girlfriend, who he knew I was with. No, this isn't related to Emily. My distaste for him is purely personal, and I merely want to amplify Masai's message. Believe it or not, but I actually hate internet drama. I just want to talk about video games. Now, whether you're a fan of Chugga Conroy's or not, you have to admit, when one of your boys comes out and sides with all the females that are against you, it's very damning. Someone you've been friends with, someone who's in the same space content creation wise is like, Chugga Conroy is a piece of shit. That's kind of the nail in the coffin. The last comment I want to go over is by Lukajin here, who says, you are so independent and strong, but I wanted to say how proud I am of you. I know this wasn't easy and I want you to know I'm always here in any way that you need me. Now, Luka Jin is the wife of Proton John. Proton John and Chugga Conroy are extremely close when it comes to content. They are in the same groups, they collab all the time, and Proton John actually went on to like Luka Jin's tweet here. So again, when you have Ant Dude, Proton John, and all of these women coming out against Chugga Conroy, it is very damning. Now, all of this is alleged, but everyone that's coming out right now seem pretty convincing. But I just wanted to keep you guys updated on this whole scandal. Chugga Conroy is very famous. He holds a special place in a lot of people's hearts. He has been playing video games on the internet for a very long time. So let me know what you think. Do you believe all of this? Do not believe all this? Are you on one side? How do you feel about it? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs, so if you could drop a subscribe, that would mean the world to me. If you want to watch me play games on Twitch, click the link in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.